the Aero Club of Southern Tasmania operates fly-ins for its members, friends, pilots and other clubs to enjoy. On a perfect winter's morning, the World War II airstrip's mini time trials was held. And what's this little bus you're flying? Stinson 1083. Bringing together pilots and aircraft, today over 50 people from all over Tasmania. These substantial airfields were built at the start of World War II as satellite training fields, part of the operation of 7 EFTS, the Elementary Flying Training School, located at Western Junction, Launceston. They were short of pilots and initially short of aircraft too. It was the initial training school, one of the many initial training schools in Australia. It was number seven. Today, with special permission from the various property owners, there was an opportunity to fly to the fields where a surprising number first learnt to fly. It would be well over a thousand, uh, and there were, at one stage, at any one stage, there would have been 60 tiger moths. G'day, how's things? Good, where are you from? From Launceston. And the flying wasn't just limited to fixed wings. Two helicopters joined the lineup. Tunbridge was the first stop, a chance to catch up and recall a few stories, tuck into morning tea thanks to the Oatlands Rotary Club. But there was business to be done. Ted, are you here to win? Yeah, Mark. <laughs> yes, there was a mini time trials navigation competition with medallions and wine up for grabs. And just to make the day a bit more interesting, no uh, GPS's, we're going to do it in the old-fashioned way. Aero Club of Southern Tasmania President Don Prairie left briefing the pilots for the competition leg to Valley Field. Rotary President Greg Schmidt and the Rotary Club road crew were on the move to Quorn Hall to get lunch underway. How are we going, team? What's going to happen? Hey! Oh, it's, there we are. Right on. The Rotarians. <laughs> All pilots <laughs> have to have a full one. <laughs> With the snag sizzling, the Richies from Devonport had already arrived. About to touch down Marcus Skinner with daughter Stephanie in his Cessna Skymaster. How you going? Good, yourself. Oh, stays flying. Oh, beautiful. This massive old concrete runway, Quorn Hall, was about to see some action again. The competitors answered their 20 questions ground questionnaire at Valleyfield and were now on their final competition leg, marking their time over the field. How's your little darling running? Oh, my little darling's going real good. I didn't think you'd put up the favour of that. This the winning team? Might be. <laughs> Could be, Mark. <laughs> oh, you don't sound too positive. Oh, I've got my stopwatch here. I'd... Give it the results later. <laughs> 70 years on, the grass has started to grow through the runway joins and the surface is becoming weathered but still intact. The field now used for crop dusting. But today's all down to the timing. Oh, good. Yeah. With the 20 second lay. I think we were five or six seconds out that time. Yeah. I didn't kill the quick in here in Oh, yeah, right. a bit of fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How'd the navigating go? Oh, we're the winners. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got the invasion of people from Devonport. There's a whole bunch of you here. Yeah. So yeah we we'll... support aviation in Devonport. How do you think you've gone in those time trials? Oh, I don't know. We lost track of time. Oh, I wasn't keeping track of it. So much traffic around. But, uh, we're focusing more on that than the time, so... How'd you go on the time trials, do you reckon? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're not too far out. <laughs> not too far out. Well, do you do any good on the time trials? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Gut feel? Ooh. Backwards. <laughs> Going backwards. How was that? Excellent. Pretty we good. made it. Yeah. Leg two or leg three is coming out. Yeah. I think uh, some of the others didn't quite go where they were supposed to go. <laughs> Yeah.
getting much out of today. Yeah, it's great. All different land landing strips, as if everything's different. It's pretty good fun. How'd you go? Oh, well, I couldn't, I couldn't see it. I didn't know where those bloody sky foxy things were, and I got a bit short. He, port, he short. couldn't quite find the strip. <laughs> he got in. Didn't you see the S turning? <laughs> Trying to kill some height. Trying to kill some height. But well, I've got it. I've got it before degrees of flat. We didn't have it. <laughs> Good fun. I enjoyed that. Oh, gee, what's this thing got up the front? Are those 320? 150 horsepower? Yeah. Where are you from? Oh, we live in Sassafras now. Yeah. Just up the road, yeah. Competition over. 22 aircraft parked, and time to enjoy lunch from the Oatlands Rotary Club. Thank you for uh, participating, all those people... Then over $1,000 was given away in prizes, including a major accommodation prize thanks to Cottages Taralea. It was time for people to head home. It was all together in the community with RAA and GA, and uh, it's great that you can all come along and find the time.